Hello guys, when specifying an inverter for an off-grid solar system, you need to consider the voltage for the loads, the maximum power draw, charging capabilities, and the ability for the inverter to supply power when certain loads surge. Step number one, the voltage for the loads. Your load analysis helps you know what voltages your client's load require. For most residential applications, this voltage is 110 volt AC or 220 volt AC, which is the voltage required by AC household loads. Step number two, the maximum power draw. Inverters don't care about energy consumption. They are simply concerned with delivering voltage and current to loads. How long those loads run doesn't concern them. Off-grid inverters are always rated at their continuous power out value which means you need to make sure that the inverters you select can provide the amount of power required by your client's loads. You need to estimate which of the loads will be running at the same time and then add up those power values to determine the minimum power rating for the inverter. Consider future loads that may require power so that the inverter installed today can handle growth in the next few years. Step number three charging capabilities from an AC source. When connected to an AC power source, such as the generator or the utility, the inverter stops turning DC into AC and becomes a battery charger, taking the AC source and recharging the batteries for you. Inverters have a limited charging capability, so you should consider that value in your design. Ideally, an inverter can charge the batteries at a C over 10 rate. Step number four, the ability for the inverter to supply power when certain loads surge. Any load with the motor, such as a refrigerator, washing machine, and a well pump, causes a brief power surge when it starts operation. If the inverter can't deliver enough power to the load during the brief surge period, the entire system may crash and all the loads may go out. In order to account for inevitable surges, you need to estimate the amount of power the inverter will be providing just prior to the surge, and then estimate what the power draw will be when the surge happens. By adding these values together, you can verify whether the inverter can handle regular occurring surges. Thank you.